hello everybody welcome back to my channel so i hope everybody is doing well safe from covid and that your families are okay and today we are going to do a skill for removal of urinary catheter for your exam oski test of competence part two so let's just remove the catheter <laughs> okay so first of all we are going to start with the pre-procedure check you will check for the scene safety and for hazards ensure environment safe there are no hazards patient privacy is maintained you will start the procedure with your hand hygiene and then you will state all the process involved okay let the hands dry for 30 seconds afterwards all right then you are going to introduce yourself okay and then explain the purpose of the encounter and gain consent after that you are going to check the patient id name full name date of birth hospital number and if they have any allergies and their reaction to it and patient comfort if they are in pain or they have any concern or if you can do something for them before the procedure this is the important bit okay all right then moving on we'll start with the preparation of the equipment for the equipment preparation first of all you need to maintain hand hygiene throughout the procedure okay and check integrity and expiry of the materials to be used you are going to use a syringe alcohol swab and uh, nomeseline you can state that um, the, the, this is a pack of nomeseline it's dry and intact expiry date is still valid and um, there are no precipitates i'm happy to use this same way you are going to use for each item which you are going to use then you need to wear your apron and gloves you can use non-sterile gloves that's completely fine and then uh, for the actual procedure first of all you need to check if there is a leg spot uh, you need to release the leg spot for easy removal of the catheter okay then expose only the necessary part inspect and describe the contents of the catheter bag you are going to check the catheter bag for the color of the urine and how many ml of urine is there and you will check the perineal area for any signs of infection or if you need to clean at this time okay and uh, but mostly you can do it you can say that uh, as i can see there is no need of uh, cleaning at this time before removal no need of cleaning at this time so i'm happy to proceed with the removal okay and then after that i since you have checked the volume of uh, volume of um, uh, volume of urine in the catheter you are going to document it at the end in your notes and then you can ask the assessor how many ml of water is being used to inflate the balloons or sometimes they just write it on the notes of the patient so you can see uh, how many ml they have used so mostly they use 10 ml okay so you are going to use a syringe and then in uh, deflate the balloon you are going to aspirate 10 ml of urine uh, 10 ml of water from the balloon okay and then you're going to say the patient okay all right so uh, now you have to breathe in and out breathe in and out and while you exhale i will remove the catheter gently but firmly with continuous traction okay and then you will remove it after that you need to state it that i am going to uh, discard the urine into the sluice room okay and to prevent the environmental contamination because you don't discard urine into the orange container uh, orange waste bin container you need to discard the urine either into the toilet or into the sluice room after that you are going to remove your gloves wear a new pair of gloves okay and then you can clean the genitalia after catheter is removed you are going to clean uh, from one uh, you are going to you uh, clean uh, urethral meters first from top to bottom then one side of the labia okay from top to bottom for each side of the labia you, you are going to use a separate gauze soaked with saline okay so one side of the labia one gauze and then the second side of the labia another gauze and then at the end you pat dry and cover the patient back so before opening your nomaceline or any medication or any ampule you are going to clean it with the alcohol swab okay so make sure you do that for exam purposes and in the real situation as well 
you are so we, we we have already covered the patient now you can uh, health educate the patient you can tell them that uh, every time you go to the toilet you need to uh, clean yourself from top to bottom and uh, encourage general cleaning and to prevent um, we encourage general cleaning right to prevent ascending infections and uh, you can advise them to exercise and drink 2 to 2.5 liters of water to prevent UTI to prevent urinary tract infection okay and then you can also tell the patient that uh, when you first go to the toilet please let any member of the staff know that you have passed urine whether it was normal or not and the amount of the urine so they can record it because after the catheter removal it's important that you inform the staff that you have passed the urine or if there was any difficulty and um, that's it because you, you you are going to record it <laughs> anyways after the procedure uh, you are going to remove your apron and your gloves and discard that discard them in the orange clinical waste bag and uh, you are going to tell the patient that i'm going to document the whole procedure into your notes and uh, the amount of urine the volume of urine also i'll be documenting in your notes and i'm going to inform the doctor that we have removed the catheter how many mils of urine was there and make sure you drink enough okay and you are also going to explain the patient the post catheter removal symptoms because sometimes uh, for the after the catheter removal they are going to feel urgency frequency discomfort which can be caused by irritation of the urethra we all know that but we always forget to tell the patient okay so you need to tell that patient tell that to the patient that you are going to see feel these symptoms it these are completely normal symptoms after the catheter removal okay and at the end make sure your patient is comfortable their safety is maintained side rails are appropriate you give the call bell to the patient okay in case they need you they can just press the buzzer all right and then you can clean your hands with alcohol rub or wash with soap and water and dry with paper towel so that's it for the catheter removal and uh, you need to remember asking the assessor about the volume of the urine that was used to inflate the balloon okay make sure you withdraw the correct amount of the water from the balloon and release the leg sport for easier removal of the catheter all right guys i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me and I will see you in the next video. Take care. God bless you.